So I thought, I want to get out on the water today, just for a little bit. There's no one here. I thought it'd be busy. Uh, but I guess the weather's keeping people away. We've got a bit of a northeasterly breeze, which has pushed the water further down to the west. Uh, so water levels are quite low today. So I'm going to go out anyway, have a little put around so I can see what I can do and uh, take it from there. Um, it's about 16, 17 degrees, a lot cooler than yesterday. Uh, breeze, like I said, northeasterly. Uh, I'm staying pretty close to shore today. I'm not going to go far out with it being a northeasterly wind because uh, I really don't feel like going over to the States today. So uh, anyway, I've uh, got the ski ready and uh, we'll get out there and enjoy this nice Sunday. I'm very surprised how quiet it is. For those of you that are new to my channel, uh, this is Crystal Beach Boat Ramp here on the northeast shoreline of Lake Erie. It's a really nice ramp. Um, the water is usually about five or six feet further up the ramp than this, so it is quite low. Uh, the water levels drop by about a foot, maybe two feet in depth from the deeper areas. So yeah, it's a nice launch concrete pad with this jetty. So it's a really nice thing. It costs uh, $15 to pay at the machine. Uh, just over there. Uh, if it works, it's a solar panel one. Sometimes it don't work. <laughs> uh, I have a, a pass on my uh, on my trailer, which allows me to park here as many times as I want. 125 bucks for the season. Uh, you can purchase that at uh, Fort Erie Town. It's got a little chilly, but, uh, so I put the windbreaker uh, dry top on, which is not a full waterproof one. This is more of a splash-proof one. Uh, this one, uh, the blacky grey one I have is a full dry one, uh, which is a lot warmer. But I've got a brush guard T-shirt underneath. Uh, to keep me warm, so I have two layers under this. Uh, let's say it's comfortable out here right now. I don't think it'll get much colder. So I'll drink my coffee and we'll go for a little rip around. In comparison to last week, the lake was busy. Not so much today. Oh, I changed the hat by the way. Uh, my Heli Hansen one for some reason <laughs> says it seems to stick my head. Uh, when I go at a really good speed. Uh, maybe because I bent it, I don't know, but uh, this one is uh, just perfect for my head. So uh, I've only lost this one twice. Um, Wait, it's falling off, and that's usually caused by doing that, and also go, oh, what's that up there? And as you look up, boom, it's gone. Coffee's gone stone cold already because of that. <laughs> yep, yeah, stone cold. Now, um, don't leave your cup hold, cups like these. The ink on the cup comes off eventually. So I've got these stupid red marks everywhere. So I'm going to dump this under here. Throw it under there. There we go. Let's go. Gotta follow my track in. It's a bit wavy. I can't get too close. Um, just follow my track. I'm over to the left too much. That's the current pushing me over. There we go. There's a concrete block right there. That's what we aim for. Big rock. The chains are down. That's a shame. I don't think the storms will knock them down. I wonder if people have been up here and done that. Uh, but the chains around the lighthouse have come down. I have to send uh, Rick Doan, who's the president of the Historic Society for this, a picture of this. I'm gonna take a quick photo and send it over to him. All right, while well, I took that photograph, the wind literally pushed me right over there and these rocks 
all here. They're hard to see because it's very murky because it's choppy. Uh, so I just went off course ever so slightly. Yeah, rock right below me. So I was kind of following my path back out. <laughs> That's why you need a depth finder here. There's still a couple of rocks out here which I post, I actually labeled on my, uh, some rocks I labeled on my GPS, but I can't see them and the water is low today. So they're gonna crop out of nowhere. So anyone coming out here, want to adventure out here, um, my rule of thumb would be whatever the weather, there's a channel marker just out there, a red stick in the water. Uh, that red stick in the water, you want to be just beyond halfway away from the lighthouse, but closer to that marker on the safe side. If you come below halfway, you will run the risk of uh, finding a road rock which is lying around if you don't know the uh, waters. And if you go over there, it actually goes very, very shallow very, very quickly. You can go from like 10 feet of water to like three feet, just like that. So you've got to be very careful in this area. So always try and get closer to that marker. You're good to about 80, 90 meters um, to the, uh, to the north of it, you're fine. But once you get beyond 100 meters, you really got to take, uh, take care around here. All right, back in the safe zone. So this is the channel mark I was on about. Uh, it's probably about 300 meters offshore from the lighthouse, uh, give or take. So you, you want to be, like I said, you want to be closer to this than, than closer to the lighthouse for safety reasons. The last thing you want to do is run aground. Unless you go really slow, you can chance it, but don't come flying across here, close that lighthouse at speed, because you chance that, you're gonna smash your hole up, because you will hit something. There is several rocks out there which are literally just a foot below the waterline. You, you gotta know where they are. So keep that in mind if you're down at Crystal Beach. Apart from that, it's safe all around here. Once you go around each point, you can actually quite quite close to shore, no problem. Uh, going to Shirkston, you could probably go right along to shore, all the way over, uh, near enough to Port Coburn, it goes very shallow again. Uh, Saying we're going to Fort Erie, uh, as the land jets out, I'll put a little map out, and I'll try and describe it to you a little bit better. Uh, as you see, this is, uh, the lighthouse area so this area is probably quite rocky very shallow water but once you get into the bay bit you can get pretty close to the beach uh, all the way around but just avoid this area here uh, which is a crystal beach where the amusement part was that can get very low as well when people come out of the ramp sometimes they come flying along and not realizing if there's a slightly easterly breeze it's going to push the water away and the water level will drop by two or three feet quite easily and next thing you know there's rocks right below you uh, same as you go further west uh, sorry, further east. Uh, once you go around each point that sticks out, you can go towards the bay quite close to shore. In fact, you can get onto the beach. Uh, but each bit that sticks out, stay away from the bit that really sticks out. You want to get further out onto lake for safety reasons. So there you go. A little tip for you if you're coming down to Crystal Beach uh, and you want to ride your CD or even a, a boat. A uh, boat is more important because your, your engine, your propeller, is going to be a lot lower than what a sea dew will be. So keep that in mind. Every year we see people out here who are losing props on rocks in certain areas, uh, especially around the lighthouse and also near the boat launch. You just got to know where things are. It's a little choppy here, by the way. <laughs> oh my God, that's cold on my feet. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I got these water shoes uh, beginning of the year at Energy Passports. They had them for 50% off, and they're so comfy. Uh, I didn't think I'd be wearing them just yet, but uh, uh, once the water's on you, it's really cold, and it, it warms up quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, they're good things. So I can just get off the uh, sea dew whenever I want, whenever I wander around on shore. I don't have to worry about my feet. I also want to remind uh, riders, especially uh, first time riders, in fact people have been running for quite a long time, you have to respect the water, whether it's a lake, river or ocean. This is nature, this is mother nature. Uh, the water will claim your life if you don't respect it, it really will. Hundreds of people right across North America drown 
every year unnecessarily because they're just stupid. Plain and simple, they do stupid things. They go too far out, they're not prepared, they have no emergency equipment. Uh, they race one another, they collide, they have serious injuries. Uh, there's warnings on sea doos and jet skis alike, warning of the dangers of going at speed and not wearing the appropriate equipment. Uh, you should always wear paddy shorts or a neoprene if you're going to be going at speed. Uh, if you hit water at a high rate of speed, that water is going to find its way into any offices it can find and you're going to have severe internal damage inside your body and a lot of people end up dying from that. So you really have to respect so many things about being on the water. Uh, earlier on before we came out I did mention about the wind. If you're first, if you're new to being out here on the water and you're a bit nervous, stay close to shore. Keep an eye on the wind. Right now I have a northeasterly wind. I'm going to show you how close land is. So I'm about 400, 300, 400, about 400 meters away from the closest bit of land and my dock area is about a kilometre and a half, two kilometres over that way. Now the problem is I got a northeasterly wind. That wind is coming from that direction. So, so if I was to break down right now, guess which way I'm going? Yep, I'm going to be heading, drifted with the wind. It's going to send me right out onto the lake and send me uh, in that direction, I believe it will be close to Dunkirk uh, if I went straight that way. So the winds are going to probably push me just west of Dunkirk. Um, and if you don't have a radio, you've got no communication and like now there's no one really out here. So keep that in mind. Now if it was a southerly wind, which usually we get here, it's more frequent to have a southerly, southwesterly wind. Well the winds will now push me straight back to shore. And I, I've had that, not because I've broken down, I've just sat here with a coffee when it's quite breezy and uh, I'll probably stop here and half an hour later I'm about two or three hundred meters closer to shore so the winds can really push you along so a safety tip there and someone asked me to mention that when I saw them at the, um, the open day energy power sports um, Doug, I think it was Doug I was speaking to. I spoke to so many people, I think it was Doug. And Doug said, mention that in your next video about the wind, because I was talking to him about the wind and that how it helps people. And he said, that's a very good idea to mention it to the other CD riders. So there you go, a little uh, safety advice for you. Pay attention to the wind. Wind is very important, because uh, it, it can mean a lot when something happens badly to you. Here. I did think about putting them on, but right now my fingertips are comfortable. Uh, I'll, I'm going to guess out here on the lake, the temperature's like 14 degrees. A little bit warmer on land, but that, that northeast of the wind is, is definitely keeping the temperatures down today. All right, I'm getting out, a little cool. Get it out. That's today's ride over and done with. All right, that is it for this particular video today of me uh, being out here on Lake Erie, Crystal Beach, showing you around, doing a bit of a safety little thing for you, a few little safety features. So just to let you know, we're uh, coming up, uh, I do have a video coming out very shortly, which is what I recorded uh, on the Erie Canal, traveling between uh, Tonawanda and uh, Lockport, which I'll be editing very shortly and putting out. I'm seeing signs now of what the canal, the, the, the banks of it. Look at these big blocks. And they're on either side of me. Then after that one, I'm gonna release a video, which is of me operating uh, Mark Forrest uh, Sea-Do switch and behind the scenes footage of us trying to get that shot for Mark. Uh, some nice shots for his video. So what we got going on right now? <laughs> Woody's filming Mark, getting the, uh, getting the switch <laughs> set up. Take 27 probably. Oh, he's deformed. 
That's a bad smile cookie. Yeah, mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, we have a seat, come off. Uh, seat, come off, mayday, mayday. <laughs> uh, so I'll be putting that video out probably a few days after Mark has released part two. Uh, so we can tell the two videos, the three videos, because it's part one and part two. Uh, so so there you go. So that is all to come. And then I'm off uh, up north for a while doing a fishing trip. Uh, I'll be taking the sea dew with me again. And uh, one of the things I'm going to be doing this year on the fishing trip uh, to do with the sea dew mind you um, once I caught a fish I'm going to learn how to gut one so we'll have that video coming up uh, probably sometime in June uh, but will I be able to stomach gutting a fish um, not looking forward to it but it's got to be done if you're going to be catching fish so uh, that is all to come and a few more adventures throughout the summer as we go along so anyway please make sure you like and subscribe and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all very very soon Hey, I'm down here at Energy Power Sports with a few people we may know. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's, it's you! It's Nigel! It's, it's Mark! What a coincidence! Oh my god, we're in the same place every time. And we found this guy as well. Oh, he's got... No one knows who the mystery man <laughs> That's is. That's the mystery who, man. Who am I? We, we, we'll see, this is YouTube versus TikTok. Instagram. Instagram, Instagram. That's like YouTube versus Instagram. <laughs> got his old stickers on. <laughs> Let's get some energy power sports ones. Yeah, I need some traffic. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, These TikTok imposters. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's found another one. <laughs> oh my god. playground just full of toys here so if you like stuff like this you're gonna love it in here that is a sleek looking thing that is nice here some more uh, sea dews. 